Hi everyone, welcome back to Tennis Coach Online. We're going to be talking today about why this recent uh, revamped partnership of uh, Lendl and Murray is going to be a success and why I think uh, Lendl is by far the best coach uh, for Murray, uh, for a pro to a coach, an next player why Lendl was so successful and why he was sitting in the box when uh, Murray did win Wimbledon. Now the first thing you have to understand is the type of player that Murray is and this is why this works so well. So you have to think of it like a, a baby with a dummy. Everyone knows that when you take the dummy away from the baby they'll start crying. If you give it back to them, sure, they're going to be all okay, they won't, they'll stop crying and the problem will be solved but only for a short period of time. When you take away the dummy from the baby and don't give it back, that's a bit of cutthroat therapy, but they know after the time the baby will realise, oh, it's not coming back, I have to figure this out myself. And that's the biggest link towards Murray's game is Lendl did not give him the dummy back. He didn't give in, is a simple thing. Murray often looks to the box for this support because he has this... Uh, real uh, gist from the, from the support. You know, I think it was credited from you know Judy. His mum gives him a lot of energy, and I didn't, don't really like that as he feeds off it um, in a negative way sometimes. When they're not giving them the right support, he'll say, "Oh, get up! Why are people in my box?" So anything in the box really annoys him. You can see on the screen in these points as well. Maresmo is actually walking around when they were doing this, and she was pretty good for Murray as well. She didn't give him extreme amounts of uh, you know. Uh, energy or say oh yeah this is great you did this point so well clap clap she sort of you know she gave the real thumbs up or the clench fist but um i don't think it was working that much the, maybe the energy outside wasn't going that well murray didn't like it but the thing with lendl is he, he wore the glasses he wore the hat he didn't give anything off murray looks to him and then he knows oh i just did the best point of all time i hit a tweener through my legs but he's not going to clap it it's just one point. You know, even when they won the Wimbledon final, Lendl didn't, he smiled a tiny bit and he clapped because he said, that's one bit, on to the next one. You know, this his harsh treatment says to Murray, oh, okay, I really do have to knuckle down point to point and I can't look to my box to go to expect them to try and figure it out for me. It is an individual sport. You know, Murray in some ways might have been better suited in a team sport because he sort of looks to everyone else for, for this sort of help. Um, and that's why Lendl didn't give it to him, and Murray had to really figure it out himself because then he stopped looking and said, well, I can't look at him because he's not going to give me anything anyway, so maybe I should just yeah, figure it out myself. And in that Wimbledon final, uh, you know, he, he knew that Lendl isn't going to say, oh, yeah, okay, great shot. You know, he had to figure this match out himself in order to take the championship. And that's why them coming back together will be great because Murray's playing some fantastic tennis this year. You know, Clay finals back and forth. He could have, you know, got to the Roland Garros final and won it if he, if he wasn't facing, you know, Djokovic, of course. You know, he could have really actually won that. You know, he had some great wins over Djokovic the week before, a few weeks before. So he's playing incredible. And that just that rock-solid uh, connection with Lendl might actually make a big difference. You know, he might actually knuckle down for you know, months and months and months and hopefully years at a time, as opposed to, you know, where Murray has this up and down split, you know, changing between coaches and uh, hitting average to good form. You know, he wants to really reach the size of, you know, uh, the way Djokovic performs is where Djokovic always sort of is in every match and plays relentlessly well, you know, year to year. You know, it's been years Djokovic is playing this well and um, where Murray has had that up and down rough curve and that's why he's been a bit below of that big four pattern because he isn't as consistent as the others with the wins. You know, he is the one to first pick and say might lose, you know, early compared to them. When Murray plays well, he does actually get final to final because he does knuckle down and has this extreme ability for fitness. So hopefully I understand uh, why this great partnership came back together because, you know, some people looked at Lendl and thought he's really robotic and, you know, very, um, you know, reserved and not giving Murray anything. And they thought, well, what's going on here? Is he actually doing his job? Well, actually, that mentality, you know, might look very simple and, you know, you know where Lendl doesn't actually focus, but he's in complete awareness of what he's doing. And Murray is as well. He knows that he needs someone to be rock solid and not you know, give him back that dummy in order to go forward. And that's why this partnership will hopefully maybe even give him a slam to go forwards and he might actually stop Djokovic in his tracks for one of the titles, but we'll have to see. 
if they work together they can be very scary good this partnership so hopefully you enjoy that video please leave a comment of what you think about this partnership with Lendl I think it's fantastic uh, what did you think about the coaching with Maresmo she did a job but you know obviously it maybe didn't work in that scenario maybe Lendl was actually edging on coming back but yeah that's my insight into it thanks for watching and I'll see you guys for the next video